Sunday Park kids. It is so great to see you this morning. I'm going to need you guys to get ready to say good morning to each other because that's what we do here at Park Kids. And who remembers how we do it? Who remembers? Do we yell it out at the top of our lungs? No, we, we're going to say good morning, Park Kids, in our loudest whisper a voice on the count of three. I want everybody to say good morning park kids in your loudest whisper voice. Here we go. One, two, get ready. Two and a half, two and three quarters. Okay, I'm just playing. Three, good morning. Awesome job. Go ahead and turn to your brother or your sister or whoever you're sitting with and give them a good high five this Sunday morning. All right, awesome. Okay, well, as you know, we have been talking for the last several weeks about apples and bananas and oranges. What? What? What's that? Did I say something wrong? That's right, boys and girls. We're not talking about fruit like that grows on a tree. We're talking about the fruit of the... What kind of fruit? The fruit of the... Say it again. The Spirit, right? The Holy Spirit. That's God's Spirit that is within us and all around us, right? And we're talking about the fruit that he produces in our lives. We've already talked about love. We've already talked about joy. We talked about peace last week with Mr. Devin. And he did such a great job of reminding us that Jesus is our peace. And today we're going to be talking about patience. Okay, so we're going to do a little quick exercise in the area of patience. I want you to sit as still as you can. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Don't move. Okay, and you're going to be really, really patient and sit there and don't move until I tell you that it's okay to move. Okay, so everybody freeze. And we're going to practice being patient. No talking. No moving. We're being patient, right? Sometimes it's hard to be patient. Oh, oh, don't move. I see you moving. Don't freeze. Okay, you can wiggle. Get all your wiggles out. Good job. Okay, now that I only had you be patient for just a few seconds, but sometimes... We have to be patient for longer than that. So we're going to watch a video about Mr. Andy. I know you guys like Mr. Andy. You're always asking if we can watch his cool science experiment videos. And so he's going to talk to you uh, a little bit and tell you about his experience of waiting on the weather. Everybody say weather. Okay, good job. So I want you to listen really good to Mr. Andy's story about the weather. And I'm going to be back in a few minutes after we sing our worship song and after we hear from Mr. Andy. And we'll talk in just a few minutes, okay? We'll see you soon. Ready? Okay.
to the Awesome Andy Show, the internet show where we dare to build bigger and better than any other internet show. A lot of you watched last summer when I built the rocket-powered tri-ski scooter. Well, as we learned, the Rocket Power Tri Ski Scooter doesn't really work without a lot of snow. All of you who may have built my Rocket Power Tri Ski Scooter last summer, I had no idea that the Rocket Power Tri Ski Scooter was more of a rocket powered catapult when not used on snow. Well, today I'm going to do something about that. Hello, friends! So, what are we up to today, Andy? Well, Remember last summer when I built that rocket-powered tri-ski scooter? I sure do. Who would have known that it wouldn't work without snow? <laughs> well, I'm glad you had your helmet on. Huh, me too. We need snow to prove that the rocket-powered tri-ski scooter will work. Andy, there really isn't a lot we can do about that. It hasn't snowed yet, and we'll just have to be patient. Patience, Smations. We need snow, and we're gonna get snow now! Andy, I'm not sure if that's such a good idea. Last summer you tried your scooter and you almost launched yourself to Oklahoma. See, that's because I didn't have a plan, Cammie. Today, I have a plan. And it's gonna be great. Andy has a plan? Why am I even more worried now? Oh, don't you worry. It's gonna be totally fine. Alright, let's get it over with. Let's hear the plan. We're gonna make our own snow. I went onto the old interwebs and bought myself an Awesome Andy's Mr. Blizzy, which came with these great flavors like cherry and grape. I also ordered some ice on the internet. Okay, that's not such a bad idea. I mean, I can't see how it would hurt you, and I mean, it may take a lot of ice, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> let's make our own snow. One, two, three. And we're done. Wow. That took me forever and we're all out of ice. It's kind of disappointing. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work. But look on the bright side. We get to have snow cones. <laughs> oh, you're right, Cammie. This is the best experiment ever. <laughs> oh, brain freeze. Oh, oh, oh. I had an idea when I had the brain freeze. Look. We need snow, so let's build a pneumatic cannon to launch some of this shaved ice into the clouds. It'll cool down the clouds and remind them how to snow. I don't think that's how weather works, Andy. Oh, forget weather. We need snow and I'm gonna make it snow. A die. Wow, that looks pretty impressive. Right? Ch how does it work? Check this out. So this chamber here gets filled with air from this bicycle pump. I fill up the chamber with air, load some shaved ice into the top of this, then turn this valve and the compressed air will launch the snow into the sky, making it snow. I'm pretty sure that's not how weather works, but let's give it a try. Hey, that's the spirit, Cammie. Let's go. I'll just fill this with some shaved ice. I'll fill up the chamber. And I'll run for safety. Cammy? Science. It's ready. Now I just need to flip the switch. Let it snow. <laughs> Cammy, you were right. That's not how weather works. That's all right, Andy. It will snow. We just have to be patient. But I want to ride my rocket-powered tri-ski scooter now! Andy, you always come up with great ideas. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. But what's so great about you is that you keep coming up with new ideas. And sometimes a great idea won't work because it's just not the right time. Have patience, my friend. Snow will come. But for now, let's just trust God and build fun stuff that we can use right now. 
You're such a good friend, Cammy. And you're right, I will be patient. It'll be best to wait for the snow. But while we wait, I've got a great idea for the next show. Join us next time for when we build a pneumatic cannon that will allow Cammy and I to play ping pong from across the city. It'll be ballistic. Uh. Cammy, where are you going? Come on, I promise it'll be safe this time. Welcome back, boys and girls. I am so proud of you for listening well to Andy's story about the weather and trying to make snow happen because he was too impatient to wait for snow so that he could use his rocket blaster machine thingy, right? He wanted to ride it and he needed snow to do it. So he tried. Did it work? No, it didn't work. And you know what? Sometimes we have to to be patient and wait for things even though we want them right then. Sometimes we have to be patient and what do we do with our ears? We have to be patient and that's right, listen. Sometimes we have to be patient and wait our turn. But you know what? God wants us to not just be patient with things that we want for ourselves. He wants us to be patient with people. Everybody say people. Good job. Everybody say patient with people. That's right. God wants us to be patient with each other. So sometimes when our brother or our sister is not being super nice to us, or maybe they're not sharing that toy that we want to share with them, God when we have his spirit living inside of us, he wants us to be patient and be like him, right? And so sometimes that means sharing our toy when we don't want to share it. Sometimes that means giving something to someone else that we want to keep for ourselves. It can mean all kinds of things being, being patient. So this week, I want you to practice patience in your listening and your sharing. Everybody say listening and sharing. Everybody say sharing. Okay, so you're gonna be patient and wait your turn to talk when your brother or sister's talking or when mommy or daddy is talking. You're gonna be patient and then I want you to be patient in sharing your toys or your games. Okay, when it's someone else's turn, you're gonna be patient and let them have that whole turn. Can you do that for me? Everybody give me a thumbs up if you can do that for me. Okay, awesome. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, now we're already pretty much out of time today, so we're not going to practice our memory verse on camera, but I want you to be practicing it at home with mommy or daddy or on our Zoom calls on Wednesday or Friday because if we can get that verse memorized, then everybody's going to earn... Uh, little cotton balls towards our pizza party that we're going to have once we're able to be together. Okay, so we're going to pray right now together. So I want everybody to fold your hands and close your eyes. And why do we do that? That's right, because we're focusing on God. Okay, so Lord, I just thank you so much for your spirit. God, that you gave us the Holy Spirit so that we could be loving like you, we could have joy like you, we could have peace and calm in our hearts like you, Lord, and we can be patient like you are. I pray for each boy and each girl this week that they would practice being patient with those around them, and we look forward to being together next week to celebrate your Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus, and we pray in Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. Okay, it was great to see you. I will see you next Sunday, and have a great week, everybody. Bye.